In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six animated ring options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first ring comes here, you can see here I've just given a, a glossy ring uh, with the title and the detailed text. When I click the second ring comes with a different color combination, then the third, fourth, fifth and sixth. And this one will hold with this circle here and then you can add the title. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. So you get this particular shape. Now you can increase or decrease the height uh, with this uh, the small orange point. I'm just going to drag it outside. So maybe this much height I need or sorry, the width I need this much and make sure that shape outline is not selected. Then I'm going to give a 3D look for this. First of all, I'm just going to align center and align middle and then right mouse click, go to format shape and go to the effects. And here go to the 3D rotation and 3D rotation from the parallel. I'm going to select the off axis to top. So it shows something like this. And then you go to 3D format and the depth, depending on your requirement, you can increase it. You can see here, maybe I'm going to make it 20, 25 or whatever. And then what you can do is you can just go and give some different lighting here. For example, if I just go to the material, maybe I'm just going to select this or any other things whichever you feel better you can see here you can give more shiny look you can see here a different different combinations are there so let me just select this one and then i'm just going to move this aside and i'm going to make it a six rings total so let me just duplicate this press ctrl d and i'm going to bring it the other side then here one more duplicate press ctrl d and i'll just bring it down and here what i'm going to do is if you go to 3d rotation there's something called z rotation there or the z rotation you can see here if i just click the clockwise it comes like this and here i want to go for the counterclockwise then you can see here one two three four five maybe six time i can select or click and then let me just duplicate this and i'm just going to add one more at the top and this time i'm going to make it six time for the clockwise all right so you can see here the same thing i'm just going to do it here again bring it down and then sorry this one one two three four five six so let me just bring it down here Make sure that it is properly aligned and this one press ctrl D and this one again you can see here I can just make this one and then just properly align it okay so this uh, the rings uh, I have created now if you want you can create uh, eight rings ten rings also depending on your requirement and then to hold this one I'm going to add one more hollow shape uh, circle hollow go to insert shapes and again i'm going to select this circle hollow draw the circle hollow again holding the shift key you can see here now if you want to increase the size you can just hold the control shift key together and just increase it and i'm just going to reduce the width you can see here something like this and then again align center align middle okay so you end up getting a shape something like this and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and again, if you feel that this has to be aligned properly, you can just align it before we start doing the next thing. So you can see here, I'm just going to align it properly. So once this is done, what we need to do is we need to cut this, uh, you know, the areas which it looks like uh, these rings are going inside this center shape. Okay. So uh, there are some different ways also to do it, but the simplest way I'm going to show you now. So let's do that one first. So let me just uh, change this color to some gray color. You can see here and I'm going to make it transparent. So exactly we know what uh, from where we need to cut it. Uh, 
so what you can see here this particular area wherever this area i'm just going to cut it using the freeform tool so let me just zoom in you can see here then go to insert shapes and from the line select the freeform shape and here only from here you can see here i'm just going to highlight only this area and from here i'm going to highlight this area you can see here and then just match it and then i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract so you can see here we have cut this one so similarly we need to cut the rest of the options using the freeform shape so let me just do one more time so i'm just going to cut this area again zoom in I'll go to insert shapes select the free form and make sure that you need to align it properly don't cut it outside or inside make sure it is perfect and then i'm just selecting this one now again select this hold the shift key select this shape more shape and subtract so you can see here like this you just need to do it for the rest of the objects so you can see here i've just uh, cut all the options required wherever required and then i'm going to make the transparency again to zero percent you can see here now uh, it's time to change the color so any color of your choice just you can choose it i'm just going to choose uh, some different color combinations you can see here let me just choose a purple maybe i can choose here the teal color and then some other color combinations like orange and maybe i can just choose some dark blue also so you can see here the uh, we have completed the design now it's time to add the text so go to insert text box you can add your title here and choose any good font of your choice so i'm just going to choose the roboto and you can see here i'm just going to increase the size then go to insert text box you can add detailed text here reduce the size and then i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'm just going to add one by one for each option ctrl d and you can see here if you want you can just uh, right align for this and then here in the center you can add some title also here main headline you can see here something like this and make it bold and if you want to increase the size so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some basic animation you can add the animations to it